Howdy, 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 Zach Scott here with another quick Source Filmmaker tutorial. Uh, it's been a while, but uh, I've got a couple new tricks that I think people could learn about and uh, benefit from. So today I'm going to be showing you a feature of Source Filmmaker called conforming, or uh, also known as combining two scenes into one. Yes, so this is a nice handy trick to take two complete DMX project files and mash them up into one. Uh, why this might be useful is, for example, myself, I like to build a lot of uh, scenes out of just random props on um, Black Void, for example. It's kind of how I do all my shots and, and movies. So if you look here, this is just a big old, this whole scene is just a big pile of props in the middle of nowhere, just uh, sitting out in a big Black Void. Uh, and I have a lot of projects like this. So um, I might create a uh, cool scene like this, and then maybe I want to come back to it and reuse it in another movie. Um, like I've done that with a, another scene that I have, a, it's a bar uh, that I'll reuse too. Um, but since it's not a map, uh, it's kind of hard to carry those files over and, uh, and get everything kind of set up exactly the same way. Uh, however, I have the scene as a project file, so I can basically use that to import everything in this scene into another scene, or vice versa, and uh, kind of, you know, cut between different scene build locations that I've created. Uh, you can probably figure out other useful things for this. Uh, it's a it's a kind of risky, but but uh, I've never had any problems with it maneuver here because we're going to be going into the element viewer to do this. Um, but uh, it's pretty simple. There is documentation for this up on the uh, Valve Developer Wiki, um, but it's kind of uh, pretty unknown. So I figured I'd make this tutorial to uh, you know kind of get the word out that this can be done. So uh, let's get started. So what we have here is my scene. Um, so I've just got this little this little room here. So I'm gonna go and uh, import my bar in, so that as I cut between this shot and the next shot, I can cut between this fancy room and my bar. So the first thing I want to do is with uh, nothing selected in my element viewer, I am going to go up to here where my session is. I'm gonna navigate down to my active clip. So I have my active clip here. Uh, that is, uh, I just want to confirm that this is the scene that I want. So it is, I believe. Yeah, I think so. Uh, what I want to do now is I want to bring in the new project file. So I'm not going to drop it quite into my active clip, but I'm going to drop it into this section called the misc bin. So uh, right-clicking on the misc bin, you can import element. So I'm going to import element here, which brings up the uh, element importer, which shows me all of my project files, which is because I told it to show me those. So I'm going to navigate to my scene that I want to import here. So ngvich main scene setup copy, and I'm going to drop that in. So uh, there we go, I've kind of already imported this uh, project file. So technically I have two projects in one right now. Uh, but you can't tell that because all of the shots are kind of hidden down there. So in my misc bin I have session uh, this other session. So if I come down to the active clip I can kind of see the name of this shot is ngvich. That's the name of the scene that I imported so that's how I know it is. You got information like the map and all that. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go into the... Uh... Wait, crap. Yeah, you want to take this active clip and you want to drag this up to the misc bin level. Uh, I think the reason for this is just for cleaning things up. Um, but once you've done that, you've essentially made a copy of your imported scene. So I can go into this session that was previously imported and I can just delete that out. So that's just kind of general housekeeping. Um, so now I have misc bin with my ngvich scene. So inside of my ngvich scene, I can find all of the shots. So if I go into ngvich and then go down to... Uh, Subclip trap group. I can go down to tracks, film, children, and shot one, which is the only shot in this scene. If it was a bigger scene, it would have like shot one, two, three, four, five, six, fifty, whatever. Um, but so I have shot one here. So if I come back up to uh, my active clip, which is my main scene, uh, I can kind of find similar areas. So subclip, uh, subclip track group, go down to tracks, film, children, and I have the real shot one, which is this shot. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab that shot one, wherever it was, here we go, and I'm just going to drag it right up, and I'm going to uh, drop it right here into uh, this children area right next to my other shot one. And uh, there we go. So as you can see on my timeline, I have uh, instantly added a new shot. So uh, you can see this other one is a bit bigger, but I'm just going to trim that down and uh, drag that out a little bit so it's not on top. And now you can see I have imported an entire new project file, complete with a different scene build than the one I started with. Um, and I have my uh, my fancy room. So I have my bar, 
and uh, my fancy room. And so you can see that was like a five minute operation max. Uh, it's pretty simple to do. Uh, you could, you know, theoretically keep doing this over and over and over again and get like 45 scene builds in there if you want, uh, if you want to do something really crazy. Um, but yeah, it's a, a really basic trick that I figure a lot of people could uh, benefit from knowing about. So uh, there you go.